a sin always begins within. A sin starts from your thoughts. A sin starts from within. You've already sinned as soon as you think about it. Hello everybody, I am Lucy and welcome to The Word. Um, so in today's video, as you can already see by the title, God is saying, don't go back to Egypt. Okay, this is a warning for some of you, okay? For those this video applies to, please listen attentively as God is speaking, okay? In Jesus' name, God, I thank you for this message. Let it bless those who are listening and let it be especially for those who are listening right now in this hour. So God is saying, do not go back to Egypt, okay? So I had a dream. Obviously, um, most of the things that I speak about is usually derived from dreams and also experiences that are happening in the real world, okay? Now, before all of this, all these shenanigans happened, um, and I thank the Lord for this, I had a dream, okay? I had a dream, um, that I was, you know, going to a place, okay? Okay, so when I got there, when I got at the place, I seen on my left side, there was my job, okay? Not my, not specifically my job, but the field of my job. I'm not really employed in that company, but like, it's like the same field, okay? And then I also seen this other place where people were having fun. So I went inside that place instead of my job, okay? And I drank, okay? I got drunk, okay? I got so drunk, I came out drowsy. Um, the people who were partying with us, um, they started, they wanted to like go to the cemetery, okay? Cemetery. So then I... I didn't follow them because they just wanted to go to the people where are dead. Like, it was just dark. Like, why are you going to, like, what are you going to do there, you know? So, I decided to take my mom's car because I, I had got to that place with my mom's car. And I drove back home. Me going back home, I ran into a red light. Because I was going so fast and I was drunk. I was not sober. So, it just got chaotic. And I kept going back and forth just to see if there's, like, a, a light that, you know, took a picture of my mom's car and um you know obviously like i went literally i it was just problems okay it was it was causing problems because i kept reversing back and forth within a uh, one-way lane and i was going through back and forth the same light that's taking uh my mom's plate number you know my mom's car so obviously the, the bill's gonna be big okay so now in the real world i was like god why did i see myself doing all that like what happened to me focusing on you why am i seeing myself go backwards like why am i going back to the same world that you saved me saved me from okay like it's just been all over like within my mind so when i got into prayer and i was just praying i was talking to god about you know a lot of things that are stressing me um and you know just giving him the glory and praising him i i remember the dream and i remember the current situation i'm in okay and god just told me don't go back to egypt but so I was praying and I, I, I felt like repeating that. I felt like repeating, God, allow me to not go back to Egypt. You saved me from Pharaoh. You saved me from um, counterfeits. Okay. You saved me from various counterfeits. You saved me from various, um, you know, accidents, events. I just been, I've been seeing it happen. I don't want to get back to that environment because I've been craving drinking. Um, after receiving that dream, I started craving to drink, okay? Despite of me, like, praying it away, I still craved to drink, okay? I still craved things that I once used to do. God is saying, just be careful. Don't go back to Egypt. Don't go back to the land where I saved you from, the people I saved you from, the environment. Another thing I forgot to mention was the fact that my friends who i was partying with and drinking and getting drunk with were trying to have me go with them to the cemetery and in that dream in that dream i felt as though um it was so bad to go to the cemetery i felt like there was just an iffy to it there was a there was a tingling onto it like um a bad one okay it was like yes thank you holy spirit it was discernment i just discerned death okay i just felt death so i looked at those people around me and it was people that i know in the real world but you know god uses speaks in metaphors i looked at these friends of mine these people i was partying with and one of the guys i just sensed death on him that he was going to the cemetery not necessarily to do anything but to die that this guy is actually dying in the real world okay that this individual is actually about to face literal death okay now in this dream like i said earlier i 
um went with my mom's car so i started driving back home and i ran into a red light okay because i was quite driving on within a high speed now as you can see uh, on my end as well it wasn't that i was going to die or any of that uh god just you know made it clear that you're not going to die but you're going to get in trouble on my end i also got in trouble i ran into a red light a ticket financially right now i'm not stable not just that my mom's car now her you know like things are getting worse things are getting bad you know so that just shows that going back into this area things are gonna get hectic things are going to get bad and um you are going to be experiencing death now for this message for those this message applies to god is really and truly warning you please do not go back to egypt okay do not go back to the lion's den do not go back to pharaoh especially after being saved not just right after you literally have experienced the, the goodness of god a lot of people witches warlocks yes they have power quote unquote but they've not experienced the type of power you've experienced they have not experienced love okay that's why they are so evil they don't know what love is if they understood the love of god they would change immediately that is salvation hallelujah now god is saying the reason why going back to egypt is very dangerous for you it is because you are no longer an egyptian but a child of the most high god you are called an israelite god has chosen you for a time as this to change the world to change nations to have a place of your own a place of peace a place of success therefore going back to egypt going back to the land that is not yours that you are considered an immigrant a foreigner for those who don't who don't understand what i'm saying egypt is the world and israel is a kingdom israel is the kingdom of the heavens that god has chosen you to live in the place of peace the place for milk and honey i know that people would be like oh we're we're entering a phase or a season where you know we're gonna be entering a land flowing milk and honey really and truly you are already in that land it's a kingdom of heavens yes there are you know dimensions of milk and honey there are dimensions of success dimensions of wisdom so that's that's what i think they mean when they 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 say that you know there's the glory after glory you know what i mean so you are in the kingdom of god do not go back to the world okay do not go back to egypt they will torture you okay they <laughs> they will not welcome you with a warm hug okay yes they will actually kiss you the same way jesus christ was kissed by judas they will torture you torment you persecute you reject you some of them will physically beat you up okay some of you guys will die prematurely literally like the guy that was going to the cemetery with the like all the whole group literally they were enticing me to go with them like why are you going to the cemetery you know and thank you jesus you know god said you will discern it in your spirit yes you will be in the world because of going back into egypt because you're you're going back to egypt you will be there but you will know what is wrong you will just literally spiritually discern god will tell you you're about to die don't go there but still you take another route okay this is future this is things that will occur if you go back to egypt god is saying you will literally have experiences of you will have near-death experiences you will discern it in your spirit god will be like no don't go there okay go home but even going home you are going to be facing problems you are going to be facing problems they may be you know obviously minor considering you know death you know uh but still you're still you know you're going home drunk can you guys imagine like this is this is a metaphor but like still this is an example i mean but still it's it's sort of the same thing okay god forbid it will be something worse than that but honestly guys be careful do not go back to egypt the reason why i really really stress on this is because and i thank you god for this is because the world will torture you they'll mistreat you they'll reject you again you've been hurt many times you've been rejected many 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 times okay you've been hurt many times okay yes people in the world also have been hurt but like your extent of hurt your extent of rejection 
needed a savior that's why you 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 were you know most of you guys were very depressed suicidal you needed a savior jesus saved you okay you're an israelite you are a child of the most high god i want you to truly digest this holy spirit speak to them i want you to digest that you are a child of the most high god you're different okay because the literally thank you holy spirit is um egypt will allow you okay will torture you to the point where you realize you are not of that nation you're not of that world it'll make you realize that you truly are a child of god it'll truly make you realize that you are truly a child of god you are different okay you're different and that you desire you will desire god again it will, it will literally make you go running back to jesus starting you'll feel like you start from point a again you know what i mean going back to the same you know you know same thing and it'll feel like you are just so drained you know you'll feel like you're so disappointed you don't want to go back you don't want to go back into that loophole of you know running from god and going back to god you don't want to be a prodigal 10, ten times okay times 10 times 100 we gotta elevate spiritual don't go back to that same environment god sees you there's certain things that you used to do behind the scenes okay because you know you didn't want your parents to know you can't even indulge in now because you don't like god can't see but like god knows your heart okay a sin always begins within a sin starts from your thoughts a sin starts from within you've already sinned as soon as you think about it because you're going to end up doing it. everything happens spiritually before they happen physically because once it happens spiritually means they're going to happen physically regardless okay that's why we get dreams that's why we get prophetic messages because it's like yes it happened spiritually it means it's inside of you you're gonna do it which means you already did it you know what i mean so be careful don't like don't go back to egypt don't go to the don't go back to the land where I saved you from. You can find that references and it has to be Exodus. Let's ask God to help us, okay? So, Father God, in Jesus' name, help us not to go back, especially for the ones who are relating to this video, who you are talking to, including me. Not to go back to the land where you saved us from. Not to go back to Pharaoh, the lion's den. Jesus, do not allow us to please people just for their acceptance or jesus you've already accepted us like why are we doing this this is foolish this is foolish this is nonsense in jesus mighty name god allow us to stay in your presence fulfilled in your presence hearing your word again for we feel as though our vision has been blurred because of the environment god because of the environment so much thoughts so much things we've asked for that are not coming to fruition but because of little faith please god forgive us for that and allow us to be caught up in your presence in jesus name not going back standing firm in your presence seeking you talking to you Praying without ceasing your word says, hallelujah. And receiving all that, that you have for us. For the way you think your thoughts are not ours. The plans that we may think you have for us are way far, far from what you actually have for us. And we thank you that they're good things. Therefore, we receive God, we receive you again. We receive your peace and your reassurance of not pleasing people not living for people jesus living for you living for your peace because we realize that when we live for you we live in peace we walk in peace we're so peaceful we're so happy we're so joyful we're better off than those of the world we're better off than those who indulge in so much things god so much things to quench that void they're not having fun they're quenching voids they're quenching depression they're quenching anxiety they're they're quenching death they're quenching death but they're adding power to death they're adding power to depression jesus there that type of lifestyle is not fun drinking and driving is not fun many people die from that but jesus living for you is all that we need we may not feel like we want that right now because of our corrupted corrupted vision or our corrupted mind but jesus allow us allow us 
to go back into your presence with fire again. And this time around, like you said, re-established fire, God, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father God. Have your way. Thank you for those who listened. And we're all going to type amen to receive. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right, guys. Oh, 11 minutes. 10 minutes. But guys, I hope this video encouraged you. It God always encourages us. I, I I love this new way that God is leading us to pray. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna catch up um in a couple of days. But God bless you. Okay, Jesus loves you. Continue on this journey. Um, you know, continue on. Love, you know, God loves you. God loves you a lot. Okay, He's never He's not He He will never leave you nor forsake you so do not allow the devil to be like oh god left me oh i'm not doing enough for god like you never did enough you never do enough that's the matter of like literally that's the truth you will never do enough for god but he still loves you he loves you before you even did anything and he still sees your effort like i'm not saying like he's gonna disregard but just understand that there's nothing you can really do to like oh i impressed god like let me impress god by doing this you know allow him to lead you because that's impressing him. Allow, do his will. That's impressing him. Okay? Going back to Egypt is not impressing him. That is far from impressing him. Let's impress God. Let's let's show let's show him that we are his children. For real, for real this time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my goodness. God is so good. Okay, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.